नमस्कार दोस्तों मैं अभिजीत और आप देख रहे हैं एपी स्टडी सर्कल वीडियो में आगे बढ़ने से पहले अगर अभी तक आपने इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो इस चैनल को जरूर सब्सक्राइब कर लें और बेल आइकन को भी जरूर दबा दें क्योंकि जब भी नया कोई वीडियो आएगा आपको नोटिफिकेशन मिल जाएगा लेट्स डाइव इन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ए प्रॉब्लम दैट इज रिलेटेड टू द कांसेप्ट ऑफ एग्जिटिंग एनर्जी एंड दिस क्वेश्चन पर्टिकुलरली दिस क्वेश्चन हैज बीन आस्क्ड इन सीएसपी यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जामिनेशन ट्वाइस first in the year 2007 and again in the year 2009 let's see what the problem says the problem says that calculate the decrease of absorbable energy when 25 kg of water at 95 degrees celsius mix with 35 kg of water at 35 degrees celsius during the mixing it says that the pressure remains constant and the surrounding temperature as 15 degrees celsius the question also says that take cp that is a specific heat of water at constant pressure as 4.2 kJ per kg kelvin okay uh, let us suppose we have two containers okay we have two containers containers suppose this is 2 and this is 2 uh and the first container is having 25 kg of water i'm taking water as h2o and it's at 95 degrees celsius and we convert it into kelvin by adding 273 and it will be 368 kelvin okay suppose it is t1 okay the second container is having 35 kg of water the temperature is 35 degrees celsius when we convert it into kelvin it will be 308 kelvin say it is t2 and the surrounding temperature say t0 is 15 degrees celsius and it will be when converting into kelvin it will be 288 kelvin so the surrounding for both the container is 288 kelvin okay now uh, what we will be doing is that first we will calculate both the for both the cases for both the cases we will calculate the available energy we will add that available energy right then we will take these both the containers and we will mix both of them both the containers and then we will again calculate the available energy after mixing right then we will be subtracting that available energy of due to mixing with the available energy which we have got before mixing then we can easily get the decrease in for uh, for now as we know that uh, this 25 kg of water at 95 degrees celsius or at 35 degrees celsius that 35 kg of water both are a finite energy source right when it is a finite energy source we can use the formula for the available energy for a finite energy source which we have discussed in our previous video and we if you want to see that video you can just go to this link and you will see it okay uh, so for us for those people which who haven't seen that video right now uh, can uh, for them i am writing that formula for available energy for a from a finite source as m into cp as it is we are working on the cp of water and it will be t minus e0 okay minus e0 ln t by tp this is the formula for a finite available energy for a finite energy source okay here we have two containers so let's find out ae1 and then ae For one, the mass is twenty-five into Cp, 
is 4.2 it's given in the question then we have t that is for the container 1 it will be t1 okay no problem 368 minus 288 that is t0 minus 288 uh, I'm just putting the values in the formula I just this one right okay uh, it is ln that 368 divided by 288 okay uh, and it will come as 987.49 kilo joule okay next for the next container the available energy again we will calculate by putting the values for this container 2 in this formula of available energy for finite source uh, it will be 35 into 4.2 into okay 35 that is the mass of water here right in this container and the temperature is T that is T2 for the second container and it will be 308 minus 288 again T0 that is 288 that is 15 degrees Celsius and again 288 ln 308 divided by 288 okay it is coming as 97.59 kilo joule let's find out what is the total ener available energy which we have for both the containers as AE before mixing right so it will be AE uh, before mixing I am writing as BM before mixing right okay so AE 1 plus AE 2 so we have this as 987.49 plus 97.59 okay uh, we have the value as uh, 1085 0.08 okay kilojoule again we have this we have got this right now we are moving uh, further let's now mix uh, both the containers and then we will find the available energy after mixing okay so we have this container with us and we are mixing this both the things right okay We are mixing this see when we mix both the containers then this water that is at uh, of 25 kg which is at 95 degrees Celsius will lose some heat and this 35 kg of water that is at 35 degrees Celsius will gain some heat and both the water after mixing will have the same temperature small t right both the temperature uh, container will have the small t which is will be the equilibrium temperature okay so let's uh, have this 25 kg here and it is 35 kg both are having water okay no problem and it's t1 that is uh, right it is it is t1 and it is t2 i'm not writing the values when because we have just wrote the values before itself so and it will after losing heat it will become small t and after getting heat it will become again the temperature will become t but the surrounding temperature will remain as t0 that is 288 so uh, basic formula which we have uh, gone through in our elementary education uh, it will be the first first will be the heat lost by 25 kg of water is will be equal because we are going for the equilibrium temperature after mixing heat gain by 35 kg of water okay 
so we have uh, m into cp again and it will be uh, 95 minus uh, we are not converting into uh, kelvin you can uh, convert into kelvin uh, then we can have the direct value of kelvin for this available energy formula so but we are going for degree celsius it will be small t will be equal to that is a mass for one right okay this is mass for two multiplied by cp uh, due to mixing right cp into it will be t minus uh, 35 degrees celsius let's have m1 as uh, 25 into cp 4.2 into 95 minus t okay is equal to 35 into cp is 4.2 into t minus 35 okay so t will be as 60 degrees celsius okay we have got the equilibrium temperature after mixing both 25 kg of water and 35 kg of water which was uh, having previously 25 kg as 95 degrees celsius and the second 35 degree uh, degree celsius for the 35 kg of water but after mixing both will have the same temperature that is a small t which we have just calculated as 60 degree celsius or uh, if we convert it into kelvin it will be triple 3k okay now let's find out the available energy that is available energy due to mixing all right so again uh, after mixing both will be in the same uh, container right so 25 kg plus 35 kg it will be 60 kg 60 kg into 4.2 we are adding up the mass right so the mass will be 25 plus 35 that will be 60 kg okay 65 kg 65 kg okay so we are adding up this mass as 30, 25 plus 35 is equal to 60 kg so moving further it we will be final temperature for this this t will be triple uh, three k right so we have triple three k So see uh, this mixing right okay so this mass will be uh, 25 kg plus 35 kg that will be 60 kg okay so this is the 60 kg mass the new mass after mixing will be m1 plus m2 okay into 4.2 and this T will is nothing but this capital T for here this capital T will be small t after mixing the temperature which we have got this triple 3 k it is triple 3 minus t0 is again 288 minus 288 ln that is triple 3 by 288 okay we have we got this value when you calculate this the value will come as 8033.27 kilo joule okay this one okay so now what will uh, we will be doing is that we will subtract the available energy this this available energy from the available energy before mixing right so
increase in available energy will be available energy before mixing minus available energy due to mixing okay so we have 1085.08 minus 803.27 and the value will come as 281.81 kilo joule and this is the decrease in available energy due to mixing and it is this is your answer hope you uh, find this video useful if you find this video useful please like this video share this video with your friends and if you have any suggestion please comment in the comment section below thank you